and happy Friday. I am here to do the last part of my FIF, which FIF stands for First Impression Friday, if you are new to my channel or just don't know. And I reviewed three products this month, all by CoverGirl. I reviewed the Clean Queen Cream Whipped Foundation, Whipped Cream Foundation. I did the Bombshell Volume Mascara, and I did the CoverGirl True Magic Pop Pressed gel singer majigger so um, I will link all of the videos that I did down below if you didn't get a chance to see anyone but I'm gonna just tell you kind of like my finalized thoughts my reviews and how I liked them throughout the month because I did really put these products more to the test so the first one I reviewed and the first one I'm going to review for you today is the CoverGirl clean whipped cream foundation I'm in the color 325 um, now I don't know exactly if I love this product I I don't know why I smelled it. Whatever. Anyways, it wasn't my favorite. It looked really nice on the skin. I did really like that, but it kind of was just a little bit, didn't hold up as well on my oily skin. I think it almost like broke down quite a bit on my skin and just didn't give me the lasting that I wanted. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for oily skin. I think if you have drier skin, it would probably work for you. But I had some like weird up and down skin stuff this month, so I'm going to continue to keep trying it. And if you, I like it, you'll see it in favorites videos. But as of right now, it's definitely not one of my favorites. It looks nice on the skin, but the wearing power is not very long, and I just, I wasn't overly impressed with it. So yeah, this was kind of like my first time trying a whipped foundation that looks like that, like a moussey jelly type of texture. Um, it just kind of looked like it really sat on the skin, which is weird because on my hand it doesn't look like it sits on my skin at all. It's like weird. I don't know. I think maybe my skin just wasn't its best this month, so it's kind of hard to do a foundation routine, when, I mean a review, when your skin isn't looking its best, but I just don't think it held up on my skin, especially like in my oily T-zone areas. So that's my final thoughts on the CoverGirl um, Whipped Cream Foundation. I don't think I'm going to continue to wear it, but I might try it every once in a while, kind of like go back and see how I like it. So um, I didn't really have the best month for CoverGirl this month, actually. Um, I tried the Bombshell Volume Mascara, and I did not like this whatsoever. I don't think it was hard to get off. Like a lot of people were complaining that it was. I don't think it was. I used a um, oil like a cleansing oil and it wasn't that bad to get off I just hated it like okay so I really couldn't get to my outer ledges edges edges of my lashes with this brush it just didn't allow it I did not think that I thought it was really clumpy I just was not a fan of this I tried using it multiple ways I tried using it with my cover go clump crusher and I just oh no hated it Sorry, I would never repurchase this mascara. I thought it was really, really bad. So I did not like that mascara, and I did use tried to use it a couple times, but I absolutely hated it whenever I reached for it. So I will definitely not recommend that mascara to anybody. I don't really think a lot of people like that mascara. I think it's an overall consensus that most people didn't. Um, and then I tried, last but not least, the CoverGirl True Magic. This is the Skin Perfector Thingamajigger. I have hair on my hand. Burp. Anyways, I really did like this. This was a plus for me. Now I did not like using it underneath my foundation or alone because I think it kind of just didn't really do much for me but I love pressing this into my skin um, after I have put foundation on. I And even after I put powder on if I want like a little more coverage this just kind of like gives it like an airbrushed look to my skin. I really was impressed with this. About its mattifying products, I, properties, I don't think it's the most mattifying thing in the world. I do think other powders are more mattifying, but I really like the look that this skin, this gives my skin. And it didn't break me out, so that was really nice, of course. So yeah, I would definitely probably repurchase this. I don't think I'll need to because, well, for a while, of course I will eventually. But it really, um, a little bit of this product goes a long way. If you're using this tip, do not like dig your sponge in there and try to like pick up product because it's gonna just look goopy on your face. So start small and kind of press this into your skin. And I think this powder would be awesome for girls with combination skin or even dry skin because I think that this doesn't make you look cakey, powdery or anything and it doesn't like emphasize any dry spots. So I definitely think that a lot of people can use this product. It's relatively affordable so I definitely recommend picking this up. I think I picked it up at Target for like six or seven dollars, something like that. So I really recommend this product and I was really happy that I tried it this month. So that's definitely one of my favorites all month but I do not like using it as like a 
primer. I didn't think it did anything with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, found this helpful. Of course, let me know what you guys want to see me do next month, whether you want me to do a full another brand. I was thinking maybe like Physicians Formula and doing their Organic Wear Mascara, their, their new foundation, like the serum one, this dark spot one, and then maybe like one of their eyeshadow palettes or something like that. So let me know if that would be interesting to you guys and uh, any other comments you have down below. And I will see you all in my next video. I hope you guys have a great Friday. Bye!